Once the shell was finished, we just had to uh, install the battening and some conduit ready for Webster's to come and do the spray forming. We used 25 by 38 millimeter batten. Uh, we turned the batten on its side for the cabin size to give us 38 millimeter depth. Uh, but we, below the gunnels, we just used the 25 millimeter side because it was already sitting on 70 millimeter upstands. On the roof, we also just used the 25 millimeter side as it was already sitting on a 25 millimeter channel section. Some people don't use spray foaming, some people use uh, Celotex and, and stick it on and put it all over the place, but to me, you've got to have that airtight seal uh, between the foam and the, the skin of the boat to prevent any condensation. Webster's turned up bang on time and did a first class job which took them about four hours to do. You can see here he's putting a very very fine thin coat on to start off with just to make sure that there's no greasy patches on the panels or anything to prevent the foam from sticking to the panels. He then goes back over it, filling in the foam in the required places to the required depths. You can then pay Webster's an additional charge and what they'll do is they'll actually cut back all the excess and remove all the rubbish. This is worth its weight in gold. It would take you a couple of days to do and you'd probably end up with about 20 bags of rubbish. All in all, really happy with what the guys did. Everything's strapped down now, just waiting for the big lift out on Monday.